Hey guys, Tacoma Comics here. Got a little contest update and some mini haul action for you. Got a bunch of shout outs, got some gripes, got some rants, maybe some raves going on here. Bunch of stuff happening today. Just thought I'd uh, check in and see how everybody's doing. Uh, big shout out to, I hope I get the name right, Deadpool2323. That man hit it big. We put down about 300 bucks on a collection that's going to reap him some benefits and rewards financially and just, you know, that feel good feeling you get when you got the haul and you got the deal and you got the comics you want and you got enough left over to sell to make your money back and then some. Right on you, brother. That was awesome. And Beauty Comics. That man, I love his channel. I've been at my channel for about two months now. What's up, buddy? You good? Kids got to go to the bathroom. And I'm still trying to figure out like a voice and a style and a theme. You know, I'm trying to take it casual and just talk to you about what I got. And, uh, I made the switch from behind the camera to in front of the camera. I thought that was pretty good. But when I hear Beauty Comics, man, he's got all his catchphrases already. He's just he's smooth with his delivery. Um, it's him. It's not me. I'm not trying to be him. I just I like him the way he is. It's really fun to listen to him. And he got a mega haul to thrift shop uh, this weekend. So you go check out their channels, um, Beauty Comics and Deadpool 2323. Both uh, some long-time subscribers. A long time. I've been at this for a few months. But you know what I mean. Uh, they've been at it. And they got just, I just want to highlight their hauls that they showed this weekend. Pretty cool. I'm going to put up a bunch of links to my new subscribers. Or at least shout out my new subscribers throughout this video. I'm way over that 100 mark now. Way over 112. <laughs> Not that I'm counting. And so that's making me pretty excited. But, you know, it's about the comic book. So I got my first... Uh, first subscriber um contest video which is pretty cool Lindsay's uh geeked out something i'll put the name proper later she made a really cool thing um i'm gonna put the link to my video where are we put the link to my uh subscriber video down below um she she did a pretty awesome one i'll just make it real simple in case you didn't watch the original video you gotta be a subscriber 18 all that jazz um and then you just basically got to do an A-OK, -okay, man. Just give give a comic or give a thousand comics to somebody, not me, somebody else. Um, and just like show yourself boxing them up. Tell why you're giving it to that person. They're a new YouTuber. They shouted you out. They're a friend of yours for a long time. It's their birthday. They helped you out with a low price on the comic. Whatever it is, just you know, shout them out. Show what you're giving them. Put it in the box. Make the video. And then uh, make sure you put the link to that video in my original contest video, which I will link below here. All right. Um, so I, you know, I get these emails from Midtown Comics and they're like 65% off flash sale, most back issues today or 70% off. So I, I hit them up when there's runs I'm trying to fill and just to see what they have. Uh, so nothing major here, right? Miss Marvel 16. I actually think that's a really cool cover. This is from the volume three, the first G Willow Wilson run. Uh, I'm completing my third go through that run. Um, the first run I'm trying to get all of the variants. The second two runs, I'm just trying to get one through 19, like flat, no variants or second printings or anything. I need a 16, um, I need an 18, and I need 14, and then I'll have uh, three complete runs of that. Uh, if you know anything about me, you know that I love myself some Lumberjanes. I'm a big camp guy. I worked at camp for like as a director and a counselor for years, uh, rock climbing guide and stuff like that. And so just the friends that I made on staff, I love that stuff. So even though this uh, is about a bunch of kids at camp, um, I like it. This is an issue four variant cover. I've been collecting just crazy variant covers. And it says limited edition, but it doesn't say. I think it's just a Boom Studios variant. But uh, the first issue, they put out tons of variants, licensed them to different like stores and stuff. And I just got a whole bunch. I was putting some of them away in boxes yesterday. Um, love me some Lumberjanes and just all the great artists, Boom Studios, puts on that book. Uh, they're coming up on 50, which is pretty amazing. Um, Got to get this one out. I, I love that they give you all the information here on the sticker, but it always covers up stuff, especially the issue number. Um, if you didn't read, uh, I think it's P. Craig Russell is his name, his Flintstones run. He's doing a Snagglepuss run now, which is really good too. Um, but the Flintstones run was simply amazing. This is just a variant cover for number one. Um, I thought that was a pretty, pretty cool cover. Uh, speaking of variant covers, if you saw the um, Hulk 181 homage that the uh, new re reboot of Kick-Ass does, it's a sick cover. The One of my LCSs was selling that for $89.99 for 
the sketch and the regular, so 90 bucks, but maybe like 110 if you want it separately. Anyway, um, just check out that cover. That was really cool. Uh, it's the Kick-Ass number one, the new uh, re reboot, um, and it's a uh, Hulk 181 homage. Just really, really cool. Uh, 100 Bullets, I've got like 10 issues left to get all 100 of these. Uh, one of the first comics I started collecting when I got back into comics. Um, I mean, I started collecting after this run was done, but uh, it was one of the things that I started getting trade paperbacks. My LCS kind of just told me about it, said you might like this. I told him the stuff that I was kind of getting back into. Um, absolutely love the story. Very consistent over um, 100 issues. Artwork, very consistent over that time, and all the covers have the same sort of feeling. Really great art. I don't know what numbers these are. They're in the 60s and 70s and 80s. So that's, like I said, I need like three or four issues left, and then I'll have all 100 of them. I'll go through the whole box someday. That'd be a cool video um, <laughs> for some people. Some people might be bored out of their minds seeing that. But uh, there you go. So that was my little Midtown haul. Pretty excited with that. Go box and board those, bag and board those, then put them in boxes. Got to get the right order there. Um, pretty nice. Uh, Midtown Comics. Sometimes they do the Gemini comic mailers. Sometimes they do this like massive uh, thick um, bubble wrap. I think when it comes from the warehouse out in Long Island, it comes in the bubble wrap in the big boxes. When it comes from one of the main stores, it, it comes wrapped differently. I'm guessing. I'm not too sure. But what do we have down here in the bag? Well, we won't go to the bag yet because that's my whole story of my rant and rave. Just pick this up because I, I really love the comics, but I, I miss the boat on these. So I'm just getting all the number one issues for the different volumes. And then I'm just reading it in uh, trade paperbacks. They got a bunch of the hard covers there at uh, Half Price Book now. So I'm picking up those like one a week. This is what I'm excited about. Big reveal. Oh yeah. So retailed for a hundred. They had it on sale for fifty and then a forty percent off, so I ended up paying thirty-three. You know, I could probably snag it online for that much, but uh I was happy to get it in a store. You know, I'm sure of the quality there, I'm sure that I'm, what I'm getting. Uh that is Sandman, the absolute Sandman, volume one. It only does like twenty issues, but I mean it's just it's just goodness, man. This storyline is so beautiful. Um, way ahead of its time. You read it today, it still reads fresh. Uh, the artwork was, was amazing, was, was different. Oh, just You got to read yourself some Sandman, you know. Um, I don't think that I've ever finished Watchmen all the way through, and I know people say that's a seminal comic, but uh, to me, this is the one, and this is a real nice hard slip case. One little ding on it right down. Catch that in the light. Right down there, there's a little line going down. Um, but you know, I'm not too worried. This is not something I'm selling. This is not something I'm reading. This is something I'm reading and collecting and displaying. I think that makes a really beautiful, beautiful display. Absolute Sandman. All right. Went back to uh, half price yesterday because then it was the 50% off. They do these sales where it's like 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 on like four consecutive days. One, one item only. And I saw this, Avengers Annual Number 10, First Appearance of Rogue. And my heart got pumping, my blood got racing. And it was $50. I'm like, that's a lot of money. I can get some good classic comics to fill out, like my X-Men run or, or something for $50. I could get, you know, I could get another Miss Marvel Number 1. I could get The Edge of Spider-Verse Number 2, um, First Appearance of Spider-Gwen. You know, there's a lot of good stuff out there in that $50 range that I'm looking for. Uh, but then I'm thinking, you know, Marvel Cinematic Universe, Fox Studios, crossover. Hey, buddy, what's up? You just chilling? Do, Show I have, do I have to go to church again? No, you don't have to. Um, you have till about 4 o'clock, and then we're going to start um, Taekwondo practice, okay? So you can go. You can use your video games, of course. About 15 more minutes, okay? Kids. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, all right, 50 bucks, but it's 50% off. 25 Boom, I'll take it. The lines were long. I was busy. The wife was at REI just around the corner. She left half price. The kids were reading manga in half price, and I've been online looking through all their boxes behind the counter. So I grabbed it. Mistake. I should have taken my time. How many times have you seen this Lego ad on the back of a mid-80s or late-70s comic book, right? 
But now let's take a look at this. Here on the spine, freaking clock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, right? Over here, did I not see that rip? Where is that rip that I can't see now? Right there. Right there below Iron Man. There's a freaking rip in, in the cover. I mean, we're looking at like a 5 I mean, the, the pages aren't bad on the inside, right? But this is not a, a $25 comic, let alone a $50 comic. That's ridiculous. So uh, nobody to blame but myself, you know? This is the sort of thing I do. I get excited about comics. I don't do the research all the time. Sometimes I get great bargains. Sometimes I don't do the research. I don't take the time to, like, really... Um, Think about what the best deal is. Can I get the best deal? You know, I, I, twenty-five dollars is top that you'd pay for this quality issue. I'm gonna throw it in eBay. See what I do. If I get twenty bucks for it, I'll be happy. Um, there, by the way, is the first appearance of Rogue, and of course, it's Professor X like using his mind to look into, say, a Spider Woman's mind to see who stole um, Carol Danvers' powers. And it was this rogue who looks a little bit different than uh, more modern iterations of rogue, more angular and evil looking face because she started out as a bad guy. Um, it's a cool comic. It's got a bunch of different stories in there, but it's not worth uh, not worth twenty five dollars in its current condition. I, I did get a little ripped off there. I'm not complaining. It's you know it's my fault. Uh, there you go. Just a little interlude. This is from eBay. These are the sold listings, not what the list that was actually sold for. There's a graded 9.4 going for 112. There's a raw self-graded 9.6 going for 63. I saw them for 46. I saw a crappier copy for 35. So, you know, I'm not that far off, but I still didn't feel like I got the bargain that I wanted. Live and learn, right? So we go on, we go forward. Made myself feel better. Stop by a comic book shop on the way home. This is an LCS, not my main one, but this is uh, on the way home. So when I get out of work a little early, and by early I mean I don't have soccer practice after school because soccer season ended, I pick up some comics. So jumped on a bandwagon here. Venom versus Spider Man, True Believers number one. I hear these suckers are selling on eBay, and I'm not going to flip them because you buy something for a dollar, you sell it for five. That's like. A four dollar profit more hassle than it's worth, I guess. But I like reading the True Believers. I mean, they're they're good stuff. I've got all like the Wolverine X twenty three, Old Man Logan, Logan Origins. Um, you know, I've got a bunch of True Believers. They're fun to read. Um, so I do that. Oh, I didn't even see he slipped this in. I went to this last year. Now they're charging like thirty bucks um, admission, but it was a really great, way more like comic comics than uh than um a lot of Comic Cons even. This is just like mainly sellers. They're trying to get some actors and stuff, but it's real like C grade actors. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just um, this is about the comics and the toys. This is a cool place if you live near the area, uh, Western Washington, Toy and Geek Fest on June 30th and July 1st. For what it's worth, didn't even see that. He snuck that in. Grab this. Um, I told you, Edge of Spider Verse number two. This is fourth printing, so don't get too excited. Uh, three bucks, that's the actual price. Um, I hear Spider Gwen might be joining Champions. I've got the first appearance of everybody in Champions, including uh, Nadia Pym, the Unstoppable Wasp, who is the newest confirmed member. Spider Gwen's not confirmed, but Jim Zub was on Twitter today saying, hey, somebody new is coming along. Um, and, and I think it's Spider Gwen. I don't know. I'd like to get that first appearance anyway. It's a modern minor key, but it's pretty cool. Uh, grab this up. For no particular reason other than I didn't have it. I had one, two, four, five. I've got some variants of one signed by Matt Rosenberg. Um, actually, I've got the Art Adams variant, and I didn't get him to sign it. <laughs> he was at Comic Con. It just it got so confused and, and busy that day. But uh, so this is pretty cool cover in and of itself. You know, let's give a shout out to normal covers showing cool artwork. Don't need variants of second printings. Um, so pick that up, and then the big one that I print picked up. Call me crazy. Now this one, we're talking 8.0 to 9.0, nothing visible. There is one crease that could be pressed out to bring it up to that high 8, low 9 area. Um, pages, off-white, but you know, nothing really wrong with this. Um, this is not like, a, you know, I'd say maybe 7.5 to 8.5. Let's not, let's not go beyond that, you know, right? Even when you press it, I don't want to say nine because that's getting silly and ridiculous and hoping too much. 
But this one was $30 for a copy way better than the $50 one I got for half price. So uh, sell that other one, recoup some of my costs. Um, this one, much, much better. Much happier with this. All right? You're not looking at anything major. Let's check out the corners there. Pretty decent. Nothing spectacular. My screen's gotten dark. Is it dark for you guys? There we go. All right, so it's not perfect. Um, staple is definitely intact. Could use a little pressing and cleaning. If this thing shoots up when uh, Rogue joins the MCU, I'd get it pressed and, and cleaned. But for now, just going to hang on to it. Glad I have another first appearance of uh, one of my favorite X-Men from the 80s when I started reading X-Men. Um, of course, most of the first appearances of X-Men are in something called Giant Size X-Men Number 1. You ever hear of it? It's a book I'd like to buy someday. Um, but to get some of them, Kitty Pride and Rogue and some of the others, uh, Jubilee, uh, some guy named Gambit's kind of going for a bit of money too, uh, Psylocke. I got most of those. Um, Bishop, obviously. I don't know why I said obviously. I have him, but it's not obvious to any of you. So anyway, that's where I am. Um, shout out to, uh, shout out to what? Shout out to everybody that's been subscribing recently. Shout out to, uh, I can't remember, Lindsay's Geeked Out Closet, I think it is, who did the first um, first entrance into my uh, sub my 100 sub subscriber. <laughs> I'll just start that over. Shout out to Lindsay's Geeked Out Closet, who did the first entry into my 100 subscriber video contest. Don't know why that was so hard to say. Uh, like I said, shout out to Beauty Comics and Deadpool 2323 for getting some amazing hauls. Shout out to the whole community that just keeps me going, man. You guys, so many videos. I really do try to watch as many as I can. I throw a comment just on like one particular comic to show that I was watching. It's, it's hard to just, you know, comment, comment on everything. We all got lives and uh, work and kids and family and stuff, but we're trying to get there. Um, and I got some more stuff coming in from... Midtown, it probably should be here later this week, and then, that's a drum roll, Pop.Comics, I won her uh, giveaway contest, and she's got a stack of books like that coming my way, and I'm super stoked for that. That'll be my next haul video when I get those two things in sometime next week, and hopefully I'll do a, a contest update, see how we're doing. Until then, you guys have a good day. If this is your first time seeing me, sorry about the wackiness, is that my son back there hiding? I think you already walked through. Um, just like and subscribe and check out my, uh, go ahead and please check out my subscriber contest video. I'll put the link down there, like I said. And you guys have a good day, okay? Take care.